Welcome to Dr. D.Y. Patil Institute of Hotel Management Pune. This presentation is prepared by Prof. Azim Sheikh for the second year, B.Sc. Hospitality Studies. Thank you. In this chapter we shall learn about volume forecasting and various factors related to the same. The volume forecasting is the forecasting of the volume to be produced for an establishment for a specified time period, for example, a des, a week or a month. Let's us see few key points about volume forecasting. First one. Forecasting is a critical function for any business operation. Since volume of business and profit is directly associated with forecasting, this point is most important. The second point is, management needs to have an honest appraisal of both actual volume and estimated value of the future business. Any wrong assumptions may ruin a business. The third point is, this overview can produce marketing analysis and sales programs to increase business volume or analysis of costs and profitability margins to ensure that maximum profits are made from each function. The fourth point is, not having a valid understanding of future business can result in business failures. False interpretations are harmful to the business. So practical and mature understanding of the future are required for the correct prediction of the business. Now we are going to learn the merits or advantages of volume forecasting. The first merit is, an organization uses a variety of forecasting methods to assess possible outcomes for the organization. This means, there are many methods of forecasting are available, so, for this reason, one can compare data from these methods, to come to a precise conclusion. The second merit is, the methods used, by an individual organization will depend on the historical data. For example, type of event etc. This is actual primary data, which acts as raw data for the forecasting, done by different methods. The third advantage of forecasting is, that it provides the business, with valuable information. This information can be used, to make decisions about the future of the organization. The information creates a database for forecasting, in the future. The fourth advantage is that, it reduces unnecessary delay in service, since you are prepared, for the number of persons to be catered to. This is one of the most important advantages. The forecasting gives a precise count for the production, so there is always enough food to cater to the expected volume of guests, within the stipulated time. The fifth merit of forecasting is, in many cases, forecasting uses qualitative data, that depends on the judgment of experts. Since data is as per judgment of experts, the trustworthiness of the forecasting increases. In this slide we will see, the factors influencing, volume forecasting. The first factor is season, weather forecast, and time of the year. This is a non-controllable factor for the organization. A situation like bad weather, may result in a low volume, of business than forecasted volume. Similarly, seasons, like rainy season, may result in low volume of the business. The second factor, is, parsed popular menu items. These affect forecasting because, once popular menu items are known, the production pattern of that item, and other items can be derived. The third factor, is, any major events occurring in the area, for example, sports events, music concerts or popular shows, etc. These types of factors may prove, your forecasting wrong. These events attract the crowd towards them, which results in loss of your forecasted volume of revenue. The fourth factor affecting forecasting is, any sales campaign currently being promoted by the organization or outlet. For example, if there is Punjabi food festival being promoted, by specialty outlet in your organization, then there are chances that guests are attracted to that specialty outlet, and the revenue of other outlets like a coffee shop may be reduced. With the advantages, there are some limitations of, volume forecasting. We shall see them now. The first limitation is that, it is not possible to forecast the future. Because of the qualitative nature of forecasting, a business can come up with different scenarios, depending upon the interpretation of the data. Sometimes, the methods and assumptions may be proven wrong, 
even if based on accurate information. The next limitation is, organizations should never rely 100% on any one forecasting method. However, an organization can effectively use forecasting with other tools of analysis to give the organization the best possible information about the future. Using different forecasting methods and comparing them may give accurate information. The third limitation is that making a decision on a bad forecast can result in financial ruin for the organization, so an organization should never base decisions solely on a forecast. This is so relatable because, if the forecasting is done, without considering external factors as discussed earlier, it may result in bad forecasting. Let us go through the challenges in volume forecasting. The first one is, the perishability of the product. The perishability of most of the raw as well as cooked food is limited. Therefore Ketra has to buy them in the correct quality and quantity. They must be stored and processed correctly. In the case of wrong forecasting, unnecessary wastage or shortage of food may occur. The second challenge is, the unpredictability of the volume of the business, sales instability on a day-to-day -day basis, or hour-to-hour -hour basis, is not known. This causes, basic problem of commodity to be purchased and prepared. Due to this, the staffing requirement also gets unpredictable. The third challenge is, the unpredictability of the menu mix. In order to be competitive, and to satisfy market needs, one should offer wide choices of items, to the customer. But, even if volume of business is known, one cannot predict the exact menu choices. Therefore, the selection of the menu, with a variety of choices is required, to control the cost in an effective manner. The fourth challenge is, the short cycle of catering operations. Though, forecasting can be done even for the period of month, but catering cycle is short in order to purchase, process, and prepare the food. Therefore, due to the less shelf life of product, it is not always possible, to store the raw and cooked food stuff for the period of forecasting. The fifth challenge is departmentalization. Many catering establishments have several productions and service units. Coordination between such departments becomes a challenge. Since there are various departments, it becomes difficult to communicate exact information among them, without confusion. Here, you can see the forecasting chart, of the Pointer Hotel, in which estimated forecasting and actual business against forecasting, is shown outlet-wise. 